Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. Being on the big stage, I'm like, early on, just being in around the big stage, not participating, but being in around it and helping nerves, helping his own big fight thing when it's coming, and, and Tyson supporting him. Yeah, and listen, Joe, it's, it's a gift. Tyson, you know, I know you know him, and just it's always boxing. So you know, him running, yeah. we're, we're talking about boxing. I'm having lunch, we're talking about boxing, and his mindset is just a he's a different man with his mindset. Great then platform Salas has. Yeah, yeah no, admirable work. Great. I mean, how he keeps his balance to, despite getting big shots from Joe Joyce. Yeah, with the, you can see they're blocking for the right hand over the top. Yeah. See? It, Peter, they've asked me early on, and, uh, and I've said, fight week, you're looking for that little bit, little bit. These type of public workouts, some people don't do anything, they just do a bit of shadow and a bit of skip. Some do pads. Sometimes they get a little bit carried away with a pad session and sort of start showing things that you picked up on there that they shouldn't. Yeah. And it's just that one little thing that sort of confirms what you've been working on in yeah. camp. And like you stood here watching now, you're looking for things, but people to the train down don't see that. They just see people knocking holes. But like you said there, the way that they was looking for catching for the right hand. And the what, I can, what I can see is that um, he's got to be kind of standing in one spot to punch. A lot of the time, you know, there's not really much moving when he punches. So all the pads are always done in a... No, sta they're both standing still. There's no, like, moving in with the punch on. Yeah. So that's what, like, when Joyce walks you down, he likes to get you on the ropes so you can escape and then he'll punch. And then, and then as you've seen there with him bringing over what I call a triple G right hand over the top, bringing it over and down mm. in and on top. Also it's something they have looked at when Joe was on the part ropes against Derek Chisora, blah blah blah. You can see they trained with that Cuban amateur system where they each punch it move you move the opposite leg with each punch. You know yeah, the opposite yeah, leg yes, to the opposite yes, hand yes, when yes, they yeah. punch is like You see? Yeah. Now he's stepping down with the right hand. And that is the benefit of having a trained eye looking at this. No, 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 no but you look at where, where his right hand is when he finishes the punch all the time. He's wide open for the counter. Yes. Not, the, like, not really smooth when he's moving, but we don't, you know. Well, like you say, he's more comfortable moving mm. off to his left. You can make him move over to his right. So, Andy, you're looking at this and you're actually taking away stuff have you are you taking away anything that you didn't know already or uh, not really but it's good to see him in the flesh isn't it it's good I like to see up to now everything is coming off a double jab a mm. double jab right hand double jab right up so he's trying to most of the thing putting Joseph to the ropes double jab mm. big shot double jab everything after the jab but Joseph isn't there after the first jab the second jab's not landing Little things. That's not a pad where you're just doing regular pads like I was saying, you dev. Everyone must think I'm terrible on the pads because I just do basic yeah. stuff. You're not giving anything give away. Nothing away. But sometimes trainers can get caught up in the moment and go practicing things too much. And it's that little thing. I remember Callum Smith going fighting Rocky Fielding, and I seen Rocky Fielding's public workout with Oliver Anderson, and they just got carried away a little bit with it. And I pulled Callum Smith in the gym that night and went, "We need to work on this and this." And they're only little adjustments, but that what made the difference. And I just thought, "Wow, that far out, you could see all of a sudden he got too involved with the presser and work." Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.